Hello, and welcome to day six of our Advent calendar. Today is the second Sunday in Advent, and Keena is going to lead us in a meditation on living in the moment. Hello and welcome to our Advent Reflections for today. These are taken from the book, Real God in the Real World, written by Tristan Owen Hughes. And we begin with a Bible passage that we don't always relate to Advent, but hopefully this will become a little clearer as we listen to his reflection. From Mark chapter 10, verses 13 to 16. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant, and he said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them and blessed them. And this is Tristan's reflection on that passage. From the moment I woke up on Christmas Eve, I was rushing from one chore to another I felt like a little hamster on a treadmill, desperately trying to keep up with the pace of the festive rush. I wrapped all my presents before rushing out to post cards through friends' doors. I then raced to the supermarket to do a last minute Christmas food shop. And after sprinting around the store and throwing all manner of edible delights into my trolley, I stood in a huge queue at the tills for what seemed to be a lifetime. Finally, as I watched my groceries being scanned, I breathed a huge sigh of relief that I'd finally finished my chores and my wife would be so proud of me. It was only then that it dawned on me that my wallet was still at home on the kitchen table. As I turned to explain to the poor checkout assistant, some impatient customers in the long queue behind me seemed to have lost their Christmas spirit. Then, from the corner of my eye, I noticed someone who was enjoying the whole ugly scene just a little bit too much. A young boy, lollipop in mouth, was looking over and giggling to himself. Later that night, as I sat calmly in midnight mass, my embarrassment finally began to subside and I began to see the funny side of the situation. I started to think about what had happened, especially the child who'd found it all so amusing. The Welsh poet W.H. Davis's famous rhyme came to my mind. A poor life this, if full of care, we have no time to stop and stare. In our passage today, Jesus tells us that we should become like children if we're to draw closer to God. And by doing so, perhaps he was actually urging us to slow our lives down just a little and to start to see them from a different perspective. You see, young children don't get caught up in the whirlwind of life. Instead, they seem to live in the moment, enjoying things here and now with little concern for what has been or what is to come. The 2005 documentary film, Unknown White Male, tells the true story of 37-year-old Doug Bruce, who one day found himself suffering from complete amnesia forgetting every single thing about his past. It's fascinating to hear him describe the joy and wonder of discovering life again, as if for the first time. He says, I would be aware of everything, 
everything would interest me, everything was totally new. The simple pleasures in life became moments of grace. Eating chocolate mousse and strawberries, listening to the Rolling Stones, visiting an art gallery, watching how people interacted with one another and feeling the sand under his feet and the power of the waves as he visited the seaside. Doug now saw the world with the eyes of a newborn baby but appreciated it with the mind of an adult, explained the director of the film, Rupert Murray. In our hectic lives, it's not easy to slow down the pace and truly enjoy the present moment, especially during the Christmas rush. It can sometimes seem impossible. But perhaps that makes it all the more important to find just five minutes every day when we put the brakes on life's roller coaster and take time for ourselves and reflect. And by doing so, we, like Doug Bruce in that film, start to see the world as a child does, but with the appreciation of an adult. After all, as Gandhi reminded us, there's more to life than just increasing its speed. And so Tristan asks us to reflect and to consider, to take some time for ourselves each day, even if it's just five minutes with a cup of tea. And as best as you can, try to lay aside any worries and concerns that you have about the preparations for Christmas. And in that moment, ask God to open your eyes to the wonder of his creation over this festive period. And so we say our prayers. And a prayer from Nick Fawcett. Lord of all, you tell us to wait and pray for that time when Christ shall come again to establish his kingdom, that time when your purpose shall be fulfilled and your name be made known and worshipped on all the earth. Teach us, we pray, never to lose sight of your purpose, never to stop believing that you are at work, never to lose confidence in your kingdom, Teach us that as Christ came, so he shall come again. But teach us also not to waste the present moment, not to place all our hope in the future, or to imagine that you are unconcerned for us and for your world now. Teach us to recognise that Christ is with us always, by our side to the end of time. So help us, Lord, to live and work for you always, rightly and responsibly enjoying your many gifts and seeking to do your will and follow your ways. Help us to live each day as though Christ were coming back at that moment until that day when he returns in glory, and you are all in all. You challenge us to live in the light of that promise. Help us to respond for his name's sake. Amen.